Welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to set the status to registered in the About screen. So let's get started. Open the patch 1 and 2, which is this one, where we already solved the patch for neck 1 and 2. So now, click Run, and now here, click on the About, and I think you can guess what I'm going to do. We are going to use the Call Stack method. So let's click About, and straight away we saw that this message box is being shown. So now we are going to find out who called this message box, from which location. So to do that, we have to freeze the program first, the debugger. So let's freeze the debugger now. Now the debugger is frozen, as you can see, it's paused. And now we can look at the call stack to see who called the uh, message box to show the about message box. So let's see. All these are system calls. We are not interested. We are only interested in the user module calls, which is here. So it is this user module which called the system to show the about message box. So we are going to put, we are going to go to that location, right click, follow from, because this address is in the from column. Click follow from. And now, just above it, this is the message box which showed us this unregistered message. As you can see, status, unregistered. Alright, so now we are going to examine this code. So above it, if you look further up, you can see this is a good message, which says status registered. And this is shown by this message box. So it is this message box which we want to run, not this. Therefore, somewhere up here is a decision, a decision, a jump, whether to show this good message or to jump down here and show the bad message. So you can guess what are we going to do. So this is a jump equal. As you recall, jump equal will jump if the ZF flag is 1. So if the zero flag is one, it will jump. So this is a good place to put a breakpoint. So now we will rerun and run to the breakpoint by clicking the about screen. So now it is paused at the breakpoint, which is here. So at this stage, it's going to jump. As you can see, jump is taken you, it, and the arrow is red and the zero flag is one. ZF is 1. So when JE, when, when you see JE, it means that it will jump if the zero flag is 1. So JE means jump if ZF equals 1. So in this case, zero flag is 1. Therefore, it will jump. So in order for it not to jump, we will have to toggle the zero flag. So we toggle the zero flag. Now, the zero flag is zero. So in this case, the zero flag is not one. So in this case, jump will not be taken, not equals to one. ZF is not equals to one. So if we were to F8 now, let's see what happens. F8 to, to push this the, all the parameters, and then message box will call now. And you see, it says status registered. All right, so how do we make this permanent? To make this permanent, we have to know of this. That's right. We know of this so that the jump will not be taken. That's what we want. So to know of this, we just have to double click and type know of. And then if we click on this to keep size, just to check, you see, 
whether or not we will override anything. And it says instructions smaller by one byte. The original instruction takes up two byte, but our no op is smaller by one byte. Therefore, we are safe. So we can remove this. Make sure this is checked. Click OK. So now it has replaced the two bytes with two no ops. Now we can patch this file. File, patch file, click on patch, and then here let's give a new name. Patch neck one and neck two and register and about screen. Alright, so click save. Okay. Let us open the file and test it. Run. No opening neck. Good. Close. No closing neck. Okay, let's rerun. Now let's test the above. Yes, we successfully do, did it. Status registered. So with that, we have concluded this crack me. And uh, I will see you in the next lesson. Thank you for watching.